Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Alright guys, in this video, I will teach you how to create a camouflage design for fighter jets And guys, yes, I will teach you my technique and my ways Actually, this is one of my ways and technique how to create a camouflage And this is one of the easiest guys And you can easily do this and you can easily build this, alright? So as you can see guys, I will start with this, explaining this to you As you can see the wings of or the wing of this fighter jet is only one because guys uh, whatever i am going to do with this wing will be just duplicated to this side all right so that's why guys this is very very easy all right with the help of trouble tool or cake glitch you can actually yeah if you don't have, don't have trouble tool you can simply you know duplicate this right with the waterfalls but guys uh, this troll tool is very very useful in our build today or in this technique all right so guys um, the first thing that I will do before I do the camouflage technique or design is I put linings or yeah put linings on the wings uh, just to add more details because guys uh, I will show you guys and I will explain to you why this is more important so yeah uh, I will just add some you know this one this will serve as rudder and yes guys uh, I use 0 0.5 to make this flat like that and yeah I can now change the color I'll turn it into black like that and I will resize this I usually use 0 0.5 or uh, 0 0.1 for this all right for the thickness of these linings all right and then i will pull it down all right so same with this one guys the height of this one is 0 0.5 so that when we duplicate it when we invert it they are equally the same so it's 0 0.5 all right so now i'm going to stand this all right so this one could be up to here yes or yeah maybe let's yeah, let's put some allowance there a little bit of allowance again 14 there you go actually guys you know what a uh, lining it's up to you guys what kind of lining you want to add or design so yes guys uh, you can add more linings and more details here all right uh, just just use my measurement guys 0 0.5 I assure you guys uh, whatever linings you use or you do it's gonna be uh, very very uh, helpful all right so guys yes I will just uh, speed build this because you know this one's very easy all right guys so now we have the lining as you can see guys the result of the lining it add some great details right with the build so now it is not blank because guys yes earlier it, this one have no lining and yeah it looks blank it looks sad actually <laughs> so yeah i'll just add some more linings with this one yes something like that and yeah like to duplicate this also clone it yes there you go and then make some adjustment here all right yes so guys uh, now we have the lining now we are going to do the camouflage all right so as you can see uh, as I've said this is one of my techniques okay so I will place one block here near the lines all right near the lines because guys we are going to measure this and yes for this one I will start using browns all right so brown linings and yes guys to rip reduce this size i will use zero because guys uh using this uh the measurement of this camouflage should be smaller all right or shorter than the linings all right as you can see this one is just half the size or height of the linings all right so same with this one guys so make sure this one is smaller or uh shorter than the linings all right there you go so now guys we now have this one so guys this technique is what i call 0 0.5 so yeah our camouflage minimum size is 0 0.5 as you can see here 
right? But of course, uh, this can be random, all right? So uh, because I am going to add some different sizes, for example, this one, this cloned one, I will make this like that, all right? And this one, so I'll clone this again. I will make this a little bit longer, yeah, something like that, all right? So usually these are the three uh, camouflage or camouflage block that I will use. For example, I will start with this bigger one. All right, so I will clone this like that, and I will move it. Yes, guys, randomly you can do this. All right, so just add some blocks like this. Okay. All right, there you go. And then, for example, this one, I will uh, add this. Okay. There you go. All right. And then I want to add this now. For example, here. There you go. So you can see we are an, now creating the first patterns for the camouflage. And then this one, perhaps I will add that here. And then maybe more here, just clone it and then move it like that. As you can see, very easy, guys. So, guys, yes, you can do this randomly. All right, it's up to you, guys. So, yeah, the trowel tool is very, very helpful with this because, guys, you can simply clone them. All right, and then move them easily, right, without resizing the height of these blocks. So, very easy, guys. So, yes, guys, I suggest. Uh, before you build the camouflage, you know, make sure you have the trowel tool because guys it makes life easier <laughs> All right, so and uh, Yes, guys, of course you can have a different color for camouflage. So what I'm going to do is I will clone these three uh, Blocks three different sizes blocks. All right, so I will clone this and then this one might be a lighter green Right something like that all right, and then now, yes, you can definitely clone them again, like that, for example. Just connect them like this. For example, here. There you go. So as you can see, guys, because the camouflage block is shorter than the line, so uh, the, the linings is more dominant, all right, than the camouflage. So yes, that's a very nice technique, right? So guys, yes, I will speed build this because you guys, yeah, uh, this is very easy. Just put this or and just clone them randomly, and I, I know guys, you can easily do this. All right. So guys, as you can see here, I selected uh, many blocks. All right. So guys, uh, well, just to you know, to make. Uh, placing some blocks faster all right as you can see I will just clone this be here there you go all right as you can see it's much faster right so yeah continue <laughs> yeah Alright guys, I think, yes, it would be better if we are going to add some other color. Perhaps I will add some whites on this. But it's up to you guys if you want to do this. Well, actually, yeah, if you want to add some more colors, you can do this. Just uh, do the same process. Just put some camouflage blocks randomly on this, alright? So it's up to you guys.
Alright guys, as you can see, this beautiful camouflage with the help of the trouble tool It makes our life easier doing this, right? And look at that, the beautiful camouflage details on this Well, of course guys, this costs some blocks, of course, because one of these costs one titanium blocks But guys, it's really, really worth it And the time to make this is really, really worth it, guys Because guys, you can see, it's kind of flex for you right <laughs> all right guys so now what i'm going to teach you is how you are going to clone this all right so you simply extend this all right and make sure this guide block is longer than the wings itself as you can see all right that's the importance of the guide blocks guys and by the way this fighter jet have a separate full tutorial on how to build this that's why i have these type blocks all right so anyway guys uh it depends on your build but my technique is always putting some guide blocks but here guys what important is you duplicate and place these wings the duplicated wings equally placed in this side all right so they should be balanced so make sure you select all the necessary blocks that we are going to clone okay let's zoom in yes there are some more of this and this and this all right yes i think yes everything is selected and all right so make sure you select the guide blocks last and then now we are going to clone this okay so there you go all right so now it's now cloned so now it's time to rotate this all right just invert it like that yes all right guys and then yes moving this so just make sure they are equally placed all right or balance placed balance with these other wings so look at this guys look at this <laughs> oh yes oh yes what a beautiful jet what a beautiful design by the way i'll just delete these parts all right yes look at this guys look at the pattern it's so beautiful so i will delete these guide blocks now all right yes guys even the bottom part is camouflage so guys actually this one is flex worthy now but we are not yet done guys we are not yet done this one is another technique as you can see guys the blocks of my fighter jet is actually well separated so they are actually just cloned but they are separated so it costs more blocks of course but you know in my previous videos i am talking about the flexibility of having multiple blocks all right or cloning multiple blocks with the same direction it's very flexible so this is one of its flexibility as you can see uh, you can simply change the color of some of these blocks all right and then yes the browns oh not that brown but this one i think yes so as you can see it's much easier to place some camouflage with this right as you can see and then the grays or the whites there you go all right so yes guys same thing just you know just paint some random uh you know color for the camouflage well of course guys it is good if you were you if you are going to match the color of this camouflage with the camouflage of the body of the fighter jet and actually guys yes also this one is also flexible i place them you know uh i clone them like this to make it more flexible all right beautiful right even the tails have the camouflage so the same technique that i use for the wings is also applicable for these tails all right so guys i hope you learned something all right by the way if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe now and click the notification bell and please like and share the video all right guys 
time for you to flex your build, your fighter jet to your friends. All right, thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.